Okay, uh, this next uh, <clears throat> project that I'm going to show you is a, uh, a WordPress plugin um, that I wrote for um, it. Well, really, it'll work on any installation of WordPress. Uh, but basically, what this does is solves a problem that is very common on sites where uh, you allow people to post. Uh, their own posts to your blog or maybe you build a content management system and people who are inexperienced used it and they paste things that they've written from Microsoft Word without using the little paste to Word button uh, that's in TinyMCE and uh, some of the other you know JavaScript based WYSIWYGs uh, and to demonstrate the problem uh, that this solves you know the, the, the content from this post might look okay but let's look at the page source <clears throat> and show you what I call the word crud or crap anyway this kind of junk that Microsoft Word um, just puts into uh, the uh, the text and like I said it, it can happen with JavaScript on uh, or without it and so just to show you basically what I've done here is create a plugin that just strips out uh, all kinds of crud that Microsoft Word uh, creates and in the back end here of WordPress, it just uh, you know adds a uh, <clears throat> a plugin uh, where you can change the the settings here. Um, and basically, uh, let me turn this on to on the fly mode here. So it's just it's not actually modifying the post content. Uh, it's just going to be doing it in real time, uh, filtering the crud out. And so there you go. Uh, but there's lots of different kinds. Let me show you a couple things here that it catches. Um, it shows, okay, let's see here. Here you got these little uh, <clears throat> improper encodings where the UTF stuff just gets messed up. Uh, it's very common to see crap like this from uh, pasted Word files. Uh, it also gets, uh, let me see what else we've got here. Yeah, there's some more UTF-8 uh, improper encoding. The font, embedded font sizes and styles and things um, that really, you know, they use font tags, use a lot of extraneous span tags. Like, let me show you the source of this page here. Yeah, I'll see all the font and span tags uh, that are in this HTML. Just not clean, not good markup. Uh, and again, it's just caused from pasting stuff in there from Microsoft Word. And you got empty images. See here, you can see even these uh, embedded uh, font definitions. All kinds of crap uh, can make it into there um, if you're if you're simply just pasting things into WordPress from Microsoft Word, and you don't use that paste from Word function. So let me again turn this into the on the fly mode. Oops, I actually closed the blog. There we go. Now I've turned it back on, so uh, every one of these posts will show up just fine with the formatting intact, but all the word crud stripped out of the post. Lots of different things that this fixes. I'm doing things to strip the conditional comments, take out font tags, you know, attributes, and uh, in the user interface here, I use some uh, jQuery, so you can actually edit these tags right in here and add new ones uh, to the list, and it'll just strip out whatever you tell it to, as far as tags or attributes. And also, you can customize the list of characters or character combinations that it replaces and what it replaces them with and like I said this is all editable uh, on the fly here bad ASCII characters non-standard removing uh, if you've seen uh, if you look at the source from a lot of Microsoft Word files it points to you know local files on people's local hard disks or just empty images that aren't even there anyway uh, this plugin that I wrote <clears throat> as you're tweaking it and getting the settings how you want it to strip out the stuff that you want out uh, basically it 
it should be used in the on fly on the fly mode where it's just dynamically doing it as the page is displayed but it's not touching the content that's in the database but then there's also a destructive mode uh or you know a mixed mode which does both anything that hasn't been uh you know actually had the content changed in the database yet is you know it's filtered on the fly uh but also uh if it's um you know if it's if it's uh you know saved or edited or newly created once this is in destructive mode then it's going to be filtered as the posts or the pages are created um so basically that is how uh this plugin works and and it's a very common problem but the other important thing that I've done down here is make it to where okay uh the first blog I used this on had probably I don't know somewhere between 15,000 20,000 posts so when you go through to start applying this kind of uh these kind of rules and filtering content on the fly you want to have a way to do it in 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 batches and uh you know especially throttle it or whatever if it's a busy server you don't want to have to just run that all at once and uh, you know just take up that many server resources so i've got this uh <clears throat> you can set up a batch job that runs and uh decide whether it starts with the older post first or the newer post first and basically you know throttle it and say the number of posts to do so let's just have it do 5 and number of seconds in between updates i i leave it at 10 seconds anyway um but what's cool here you start processing it and uh are you sure you want to destructively apply the filters to the database yeah so here it's going through preparing it and then it'll give you a, a countdown and it's going to do uh you know five of them i think yeah one of five going to wait about 10 seconds in between them and what's neat about this is uh i've created it towards a detached background process so i can actually navigate away from this page and come back and it's just without a hitch here i am in the middle of a batch job so very cool stuff um now let me go ahead and uh well i'll just let it finish here really quick so i can show you uh one other thing here really quick as finishing up and i've got it showing the memory usage too on the server that's total php memory being used i think okay anyway the other feature here i've got is is a log file that's being done as these jobs are being run anyhow so this like i said uh is for any wordpress i've tested it through 2.7 all the way up through 3.0 now let me show you how I've done this um, and just give you a quick overview uh, here. Open up uh, Zen Studio. Basically, uh, very simple structure here. There's you know three main files that make up the plugin, um, and I'll just walk you through what's going on here just very quickly, and uh, you know just. I'll just say this is a work in prog progress. I, I want to refactor this and and uh, uh, add some additional features like multi languages and uh, some other things here. Um, so uh, I'll, I also want to make it to where you can uh, really configure the uh, UTF-8 encoding uh, issues. I, I I had hand coded the default stuff that it replaced in here. And anyway, I want to make some preference files and some other things like that uh, instead of hard coding it like that. Anyway. But the point is very straightforward. Uh, this particular plugin I did in an object-oriented uh, way, which you don't have to. It has slightly more overhead if you do it that way. But you know, uh, it was a it was a nice, efficient way to do it, so that I could uh, use the same processes uh, for the batch process and also for the live WordPress filtering. And uh, anyway, so. I'm um, just showing you the the code here. That's pretty clean. You know, WordPress code is just ugly for the plugins. Here's the the different options for. I tried to use as little regular expressions as uh, possible since it's not really good to parse HTML with uh, regular expressions. But da -da 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 -da. 
that's going on down here. Showing you the code. Anyway, the batch process actually here um, is, like I said, it's kind of neat. It's it just detaches itself once it runs uh, using a, a background post, so it's kind of neat. It, it'll just sit there and run forever uh, until it uh, finishes what it needs to do, and or until you you know specified. I only want you to do you know however many things. So it's kind of kind of neat. Uh, it's compatible with any PHP five server but this this file's got the logging functions in it and uh just showing you how the code is structured here writing the log files and on the user interface side I did all of the you know the animation and stuff with uh, the jQuery uh actually I I used a newer one than what was uh in WordPress since I started with WordPress 2.71 and all the way through the current so uh, you know I'm dynamically swapping that out uh, for uh, I think it's 1.44 I think I saw in there anyway so just typical looking jQuery stuff um, but this is really the the key secret sauce here um, is I wrote a class for DOM manipulation um, that uses um, a, a class from the uh, Zen framework that's just a short little class here that converts um, CSS selectors to XPath queries and so I just put that at the bottom of the file and and uh, but everything from here all the way down to that I've just created a custom class that does all the DOM manipulation that you could ever need stripping tags, deleting nodes, replacing nodes, turning nodes into text and text into nodes and all that kind of stuff. It's really honestly just very awkward in PHP uh, to get the hang of um, using the uh, you know the there are just so many different ways to access the DOM it's just kind of one of those things that's hard to wrap your brain around um, anyway so writing this library just made it nice and easy for me to uh, just accomplish what I need to and then you can see in the code <clears throat> um, here let me show you just how I'm using that yeah just replace tags or uh, just very simple strip tags remove attributes you know it's just a very very simple way to do use these static functions then um, so anyway uh, but that's one WordPress plugin uh, that I th thought I'd show you and uh, I'm going to use it for a uh, a lot of uh, a lot of different projects so let me know if you have any questions about uh, this project